Hello everybody and welcome back. So today in this video we are going to learn about use of has and have. So whenever we talk in English or whenever we write you know there is lots of confusion in us where to use has and where to use have. Now in this video I am going to teach you where to use has and have and I will give you a nice bonus tip along with one fun activity which is towards the end of the video. So see to it that you watch the video till the end. Come on now let's get started. So now let's learn where should we use has. Listen to me carefully. Has is used with one noun in the naming part of the sentence. One noun means singular noun. Now look down at the picture. It's written Rehan is in the park. And below that there's one more sentence. He has a ball. So when there's pronoun he, that time we have to use pronoun has. Similarly, we are talking about the boy Rehan. So I can also write Rehan has a ball because Rehan is singular. Okay. Let's see one more example. Spruha is in the party. She has a hairband. So other than the pronoun he, if we have pronoun she, that time also we have to use the word has. I can also use the word has with the noun Spruha. I can say like this. Spr Spruha has balloons. Let's see one more example. Fluffy is my cat. It has a tail. So, here along with the pronoun it, they have used has. So, when we have pronoun he, she and it, that time we have to use has. And also remember has will be used when there will be singular noun in the naming part of the sentence. I hope you have understood where to use has. Now let's learn where should we use have. Use of have. Have is used with more than one noun in the naming part of the sentence. More than one noun means it will be plural nouns. See there's a picture. Now look at this picture. Pranjal and Atharva are at the beach. They have sand castle, shovel, bucket and a shell. So here we are talking about more than one people right. There's no one child but there are many children. There are more than one plural. So that is why we have used have. They have. Look at here. I have used they have. Have I have highlighted in red color. Now let's see one more example. Look at this picture. And the sentence which I have written is they have a beach ball. So there are more than one no people in this picture. So I have used have. They have a beach ball. So when there is more than one, there are plural noun in the naming part of the sentence, we use have. Now look here. You have a book. So along with the plural part of the sentence, if there is a pronoun you. So when we have pronoun you, after pronoun you, we use have. I have sunglasses. So when there is pronoun you, that time we use have, right? When we have pronoun I also, that time also we have to use have. Now look here at this picture and see the sentence. We have an umbrella. So when there is pronoun we, that time also we have to use have. So children remember the rule for using have. It is, the rule is that when there are plural noun in the naming part of the sentence, that time we use have. And when there are pronouns you, I and we, that time also we have to use have. So please remember this. Now it's time for the bonus tip. The bonus tip says has and have tell us what people own at this moment. So has and have whenever we are using it in the sentence we come to know about what things what person is having. Now it's time for the activity. Now see there are three pictures given here. Look at picture A carefully. Look at picture B carefully and observe the picture C. And there are three sentences. Let me read all the three sentences for you. I have lots of dresses. He has an umbrella. She has a rabbit. Now read the sentence. Look at the pictures. And then you have to put the correct sentence for the correct picture. You can write this in the notebook. You can also write it in the comment section below. I hope children you are going to use has and have properly whenever you will speak in English or whenever you will write in English. And I hope children you have enjoyed the bonus tip and I also hope that you will enjoy this activity. Thank you so much.